Yeah. All right, we're back. Hey guys. Hey guys, we're back. And we're live. Live to tape. Yeah. Today we are. We are documenting Felicia's road to 50. Okay. Road to Lake Cinema 50 race. Okay. And today we are doing a volunteer trail day where we're going to help clear the trail for the race. That's cool. Uh, it's January still, and the race isn't until April. But still, we're going to we're going to go through and see what kind of trail damage there is from the winter and clear that up for all the runners who are going to come in April. So it's not a running video today, but we're going to be involved with the running community. Oh, we got some mud right there. Now the secret to volunteering is to not carry a tool. Because if you don't carry a tool, people don't expect you to help. But if you got a tool, you gotta be the first one to help. So that's a Todd Lloyd top tip right there. <laughs> I'm gonna clear up all the water so it's all going downhill. Going downhill. <laughs> yeah, look Fluid that. Dynamics 101. So I want to show you the erosion damage that Derek caused by making the water go down the hill. This used to be flat, and now it's just a huge ditch full of water. He should have thought that out better. John. I can see I can see an area of opportunity where we need to help out with the trail. So I'm just going to take this branch right here and just kind of yeah, like that. There we go. Now these runners, as they go by will not get caught on this tiny little branch. I'm helping. <laughs> oh, we need to dispose of that properly. Hold on, let me take that. <laughs> <laughs> Get that. Die! There we go, it's gone. It's out of here now. <laughs> not that. Like, here we go, we we'll just run down the trail. Oh, oh. Obviously oh. Skip was here. Obviously. I don't know, so far these trails don't look like they need our help. Yeah, yeah, cool. Maybe if we go down to the, closer to the lake, then the trails will get rockier and rugged. Why don't you go over there and pick up those branches and throw them to the side? <laughs> Trail runner could trip on those. Meanwhile, we took a wrong turn. So instead of going on the half canoe trail, we had to continue to the west. Outcrop trail. Oh, Dad, can you hold this a little bit? It's getting really hot. After watching Derek dig for a while, we heard some chainsaws and we finally caught up with the rest of the group. Mm -hmm. It was at this point that we found out the real reason why they needed our help today. The trail was almost non-existent, and we had to dig away at the grass to blaze our own trail. This is for the half marathon, the women's Solomon's women's half. And this is part of the new trail. And the half marathon is the day before the big event? Yeah. With all of us working together, we were able to dig away at the grass and trim away at some branches that get in the way. And about an hour later, we had cultivated about a mile of trail. This is all Derek's fault. Showing the changes that Derek made to the trail. It used to be just a grassy patch, but now it's a real trail. Yep. Super highway. Felicia, how did it go for you? It went really well. Was it a good experience? It was a great experience. So you worked on the trail that you're going to run in April. No, this is the half marathon course. I Part of it? Not, Not where we all. were working at all. That's okay. half marathon. The 50 miles doesn't go around there. Do you feel closer to Lake Sonoma, though? Yes. Like but I was just of, here yesterday, so I feel You're part pretty. of the trail system? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you proud in of the... In the back of the... Um, am I what? 
Are you proud of the work that we did today? I'm very proud of the work that we did today. Me too. Remember I was telling you yesterday there was so much of the course that was unrunnable? But now I feel like it's more of a trail. At least another mile is runnable again. That's right. I think we did great work. I think so too. Um, wait, and we got 2.87 miles in the tractor. I got 3.1.